The universal terminal feature is a standard feature on both the XEN 1050 and XEN 2050 displays. However, it is a license option for the XEN 750 display. If setting up ISA bus or universal terminal on the XEN 750 display, you will need to make sure that you have the ISA bus UT license installed. When setting up an implement, you also have the ability of adding an ISO device. This ISO device can be used as a standalone terminal within the Precision IQ app or independently as a terminal only when no guidance and mapping is required. If you are wanting to run the universal terminal just as a terminal without any mapping or guidance functions, you can simply press the UT app. If you open the universal terminal, you can also open the Precision IQ app at any time. However, if you open the Universal Terminal before opening the FM1000 Plus application on the XEN 2050, you will be required to reboot the display in order to open up the FM1000 Plus app. It is not necessary to open up the Universal Terminal before the guidance application. If using the Precision IQ application, the Universal Terminal can be accessed at any time by simply pressing the UT icon on the left hand side of the display. It is not necessary to open the Universal Terminal app before using this function. To enable the Universal Terminal, press the menu button which is represented by three dots in the top right corner of the terminal and use the Enable Terminal button. If running more than one Universal Terminal on the same CAN network, you can assign a terminal ID here. Your connected ECU will also need the ability to assign a UT number in order for them to display on the correct terminal. If your ECU is not being displayed on your terminal, check that the universal terminal numbers match here on the ECU and the terminal itself. If your ECU has not got the ability to assign a terminal number, you will need to use the default one. The delete ISO data button will remove any saved memory of the ISO implement object pool, also known as the mask. This is the image you will see projected from the equipment's ECU onto the terminal. It is always recommended to delete the ISO data when an ECU has had a firmware update. Once the universal terminal is enabled, press the check mark and you should see any connected ECUs begin to download their object pool. An icon with an arrow facing down represents that the system is downloading the object pool or simply establishing connections to the device after a reboot. Each ECU that is connected to the terminal will be represented by an icon on the left hand side of the terminal itself. Simply tap the ECU icon that you want to view. Specific controls for that ECU will be displayed in the 12 soft keys to the right. If you wish to view the terminal in a larger view, you can use this expand button here. The universal terminal can be viewed on the run screen if the operator chooses to. The ACK button, or known as acknowledge, can be used to acknowledge any on-screen warnings that the ECU may be displaying. If you have an aux end device connected such as a joystick or an ISO switch box, press this button to view available functions from that ECU and assign them appropriately to your device. You can operate the terminal directly from the run screen or you can choose to expand the terminal by either double tapping somewhere in the terminal or pressing the plus symbol in the top left corner. To minimize it again, either double tap or use the minus button in the top left corner. You can also press the terminal button on the left hand side of the display. If you are using an implement with an ISO bus controller but you do not have a task controller license installed, you can still have the ability to record the as applied data from that ECU. To set up an implement and log the as applied data, you first need to enable the ISO XML task data logging support in the Precision IQ settings. To do this, press the Precision IQ settings and then select ISO bus. You will need to enable both the Universal Terminal and ISO XML task data logging. On an existing implement or creating a new implement from scratch, you should now notice the option called ISO logging in the implement setup. If you have more than one ECU connected, you can choose to have all or just one of those ECUs log the data. This data will be logged into an ISO XML task data folder. There is no license required for this feature.
If you're using an ISOBUS ECU that requires a speed signal, you can turn the speed messaging on to be published from the GPS receiver onto the CAN bus for the implement to use. To do this, use the menu option in the Universal Terminal and select Messaging. Select the appropriate message type that you want to publish and then specify the frequency that this message be sent. The type of message and frequency may be specific to the ECU requirements so please refer to the operator's manual of that ECU. Your vehicle position will provide a message with the latitude and longitude of the vehicle. Vehicle direction and speed will provide a velocity and direction message known as GPS speed to the ECU. Wheelbase speed can be used to simulate a CAN message that represents a wheel-based speed sensor if that is the speed source the ECU requires. If your ECU requires a radar speed input, the ground-based speed setting will be represented with a CAN message mimicking that of a radar speed. You should only require one of these settings enabled. If, however, your vehicle you have fitted the guidance system to is an ISO-compliant vehicle or has a tractor ECU known as a TQ, you will want to make sure that all these settings are turned off. If the tractor is publishing a speed on the CAN bus the same time the guidance system is publishing a speed, you could end up in a situation where you have two speed sources conflicting, creating issues with the application speed of your controller.